Hey everybody, welcome to the 9.3 test server. Playing the IS-7. Now I have an IS-7 already. The reason I'm playing this isn't because it got buffed or it got nerfed, but because it got a new model. That's right, the HD remodel has finally arrived for the tier 10 Soviet heavy tank, IS-7. And it doesn't look too bad. My only complaint is that they folded down the KPV on the turret, or the uh, top of the turret, the anti-aircraft machine gun, and it just it doesn't look the same. So hopefully somebody will release a mod that pops that back up. But otherwise, it's a very nice looking model. You can actually see. Well, I don't know if you can see with YouTube quality, but on my screen, I can uh, certainly see that the actual muzzle brake has the holes modelled into it now, so you can see daylight through it, which is a nice detail. Anyway, enough of the adoration of the model, let's have a look at how this match is playing out. The current test server meta is basically a light tank Thunderdome, because so many lights were added to the game that all anybody's doing is playing them. Those thunderous booms you hear going off aren't tank destroyers, they aren't even tier 10 heavy tanks, they're in fact the American tier 8 light tank the T-49, which is essentially a Walker Bulldog chassis with a fucking Sheridan turret plopped on top of it. They are, of course, carrying the 152mm gun launcher, designed for the Shillelagh anti-tank missile. Thankfully, they don't get Shillelaghs in the game. They just are basically miniature KV-2s, uh, turbo derps, if you will. They zip around pretty quick. I think they get up to something like 70 kilometers an hour. Maybe not 70, maybe like 60 something. They're pretty fast, but only in a straight line. They can't turn very well. The gun gets HE and heat as its credit or regular credit ammo, which is, you know, rare for a tank to have credit heat. And the gold ammo is HEP, which is basically American Hesh, high explosive plastic. Uh, it's slightly higher than the regular HE, it has the same amount of damage, so it's pretty monstrous. It does 910 damage on a full pen. The heat round by contrast does 700, which is still a respectable amount. I mean, if you get smacked in the side for 700 damage by a light tank, you're having a bad day. Of course, being a powerful gun on a very small fast chassis, you trade a lot for it. Which you will see when I upload some videos of the actual tank being played. Here I'm just doing the usual sort of play around the middle of the map on Prokhorovka thing. Getting some nice little turret shots on the 183s while they think they're safe from me. Unfortunately, not always penning. The IS-7 is still, I think, one of the best protected tanks in the game. The Mouse or the E-100 may nominally have more armor, but the IS-7 has better armor because it's just made of angles and spacing and bullshit, basically. Uh, it actually got an armor buff. I'm gonna switch out into third person for a second here. The Right side cupola, the commander's cupola, can no longer be penned for damage, it can only be penned for optics crit, which is obviously zero damage on the tank. That's a pretty unpleasant frontal profile to be looking at. Um, most tanks that have had HD remodels have lost turret armor. The IS-7, as far as I'm aware, has not. This thing is still virtually impenetrable across the front, unless you can hit the lower front plate, and even then you're going to be struggling. Otherwise, the tank hasn't been touched. Uh, it still has exactly the same driving handling, same gun handling. None of that's been changed. It just looks pretty. That's really all it is. It's got its nice little working suspension now as well, just like all the other HD tanks. And so I'm pretty happy that I'll be able to now admire my uh, IS-7 in that much more detail when I play it on the NA server. The move to HD models has been pretty sluggish to get off the ground, but this patch actually, because it introduces so many new tanks and changes so many existing ones, it includes a lot of HD remodels. 
There's the i7, obviously, the KV-1S, which is now a tier five tank. The KV-85, which is what, it basically takes the place of the old KV-1S. Uh, the Chaffee now has an HD model. The T37, T40, or oh, sorry, M41, T49 light tanks all have HD models. LTTB, T54 lightweight, and the RU251 all have HD models. So that's 10 tanks already. Uh, the ISU-11. Oh, shit. I think there was another one that they did an HD model for. Is, oh, yeah, Jagdpanther. That's 12. There may have been more. I, I honestly, I lost count. So there are a lot more of them, this patch, uh, than there were previously where they were only releasing two or three, maybe four or five at a time. So hopefully this will be more the, uh, the pace at which they come out in future, which would be quite nice. It seems that they're not just doing the uh, the most historically significant tanks first like they were trying to before they're actually spreading it around now because I, I don't think anybody reasonable will argue that the Panther was a historically significant tank or that the ISU was well actually no the ISU was historically significant in the Soviet Union but um the Panther at any rate I, I don't think anyone will argue it was significant so I'm just going to cross my fingers and hope for the object 430 to get one soon, preferably next patch, but otherwise uh, I can wait. I'm actually surprised they haven't done the Centurion Mark 1 or the Carnarvon yet since they've done the Sense 7 one, so they should already have the turret done basically. Anyway, thanks for watching, there will be more 9.3 videos coming in short order, and once I get through those I'll go back to my regular backlog of videos from eons ago, back in 8.10, I think I'm actually up to uploading and making public now.